this is a laptop which is not working anymore but the screen is functional and it's an LED display 17 inch wide and I want to use it as a uh, second monitor for my computer if you have an old laptop which is dead but the screen the monitor of the laptop still works you don't have to throw it away you might convert it to a little monitor which will be used as a second monitor for your computer when you do video editing or uh, live on YouTube and also the stuff and the small monitor uh, is, is very useful I would have uh, been happy if this screen uh, was a 15 inch one because on a desk which is pretty crowded you would need smaller second monitor but this is what I have right now and this is what I bought online from Aliexpress an adapter plate which I hope it will transform the input of the screen of the LCD to the uh, computer output which is uh, this this uh, particular one has an uh, HDMI and a VGA uh, uh, input and a 12 volt uh, adapter here this thing goes to the uh, monitor controller and these are the buttons for uh, brightness adjustment and all sort of settings because um, the laptop monitor uh, doesn't have a uh, proper adapter board which works directly with a computer you need an adapter like this one the LCD has only one controller which accepts particular sorts of signals which are not available directly on a graphic boards of the computer I also bought a uh, case in which I will encase this thing and bolt it on the back of the screen and then it would be nice and clean to the back of the of this screen let's disassemble first the screen and I will show you later which serial number you have to look for in order to uh, order the correct adapter plate for your particular screen because not all screens are it born equal <laughs> These are the numbers you have to look for when you are trying to get the correct uh, adapter for your particular uh, laptop uh, screen. So look for every one of, the ch of, of these codes right there and you send them to the manufacturer which links I will, link I will uh, uh, put in the description down below and he will send you the correct adapter for your particular display uh, I, only, I believe it's just a matter of uh, uh, coding the, the correct signals into this uh, uh, chip to work with your uh, screen resolution and everything uh, related to your panel These are the antennas for the Wi-Fi car. I don't want to just rip them apart. Maybe I'll sell, salvage a few pieces of this laptop. Okay, now I have to free the screen now from these hinges right here. All this pain just to remove the hinges of the screen right there. That's all the stuff that's going away. And this is what I salvaged. A keyboard, a DVD ROM, recorder everything, whatever. A fan blower, a hard drive, 500 gigabytes, good enough. A memory, opt gigs, DDR3, not bad. Two speakers, 
a Wi-Fi adapter along with its antennas, a CR20 something battery and last but not least and I'm not going to use it anything but it will always be remembered fondly for its technology marvel that it is the processor. Now with everything stripped down it's only a matter of connecting this adapter board with the LCD connector over here. Yeah, that's it. I'll reuse this plastic adhesive apparently to keep it in place. Apparently. I have to power up and see what happens. 12 volts, 1 ampere. They say minimum 3 amperes, I believe, on the website, but I guess 1 ampere will just do, and if not, I will rank up the power a little. First, time to power up. Something did happen. We have some backlighting. 50 milliamperes in standby, 550 um, milliamperes. One half an ampere uh, power up without signal. Power off. Power on. Backlighting. Yeah. Let's give it a signal. HDMI signal. Power on. Nothing. 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 Well, that's bad. After fiddling a little, I've discovered that my computer has a VGA output and uh, I believe one reason why this board doesn't work with uh, HDMI is because it, the signal is already converted from display port to HDMI and this might be an issue. But uh, the plain VGA output is working. And now I have two monitors. What will be nice to do is to whack some double adhesive tape and to fix it to the case.
Good job. Now let's test it. That's the board right there. Looking at the screen through a camera is not a great combination, but I'm trying to make a point here. Now, just look at that. Look at that. This is red, all right? Here, red is very, very faint. But the green is black so the green is absent in this whole combination so the colors are are, are terrible and uh, believe me i working around with the menus and the settings and nothing works so in terms of uh, color quality, this uh, adapter board is really crap. But being so cheap, would I do it again if I would find a smaller, higher quality 15-inch monitor? I guess I would do it again because a 15-inch monitor, a good quality right now is very, very expensive. It's more expensive than a 21, 24-inch monitor. And the older models of 15-inch monitors uh, are just rubbish, you know. Ten years ago, the quality of of the panels was not great. So yeah, this is it. I've got a 17-inch laptop second monitor, which, until the next uh, opportunity arrives, I will just use it sporadically when I have the need. Houston, Eagle has landed. Roger, tranquility, we copy you on the ground.